Drawing symmetrically is a feature in a lot of different drawing programs, but not in Illustrator. We have to do some extra things in order to draw an object uh, symmetrically. So I'm going to start off by hitting Command R or Control R on a PC. And I have um, these rulers that have popped up. Out of the vertical ruler, I'm going to click and drag out a guide like that. And I'm going to use that as a guide for my symmetry. I'm going to make something that is reflected along this vertical line. So I'm going to take the pen tool. You can use any drawing tool really, but I'm going to do this with the pen tool. And I'm going to draw sort of a, I suppose, some kind of shield-like shape. And I'm going to bring it back uh, straight to that guide again. You can see the little green smart guide pops up that says that I'm exactly right on that guide. And then finally, I'm going to hold down shift and bring it back up to the beginning um, to make sure I've got a nice straight line. And you can see the little circle on my cursor tells me that I'm closing that shape off. Okay. Um, now, I need to take this shape and copy it right over here to the other side of this guide. And I could copy it and then go to Transform, and I can go to Reflect and everything. But I want us to use the Reflect tool. The Reflect tool is underneath the Rotate tool, so I click and hold on the Rotate tool to find the Reflect tool. The keyboard shortcut is O. Why it's an O, I don't know, but it is. So I'm going to um, hold down Alt or Option right here in the middle, right here exactly on that guide we were talking about before, and I just click. And it gives me some different options here. I can reflect it horizontally, I can reflect it vertically, I can reflect it on an angle. So if I wanted like, you know, some kind of 45 degree angle flip, maybe we can do that sometime. But for right now, we're just going to flip this vertically. So I've got vertically selected. Now I can click on preview and it bounces back and forth as I click and unclick. So I can see that it's going to end up exactly how I want it. Okay, so instead of just clicking OK, which would just take this whole shape and flip it over, I'm going to click Copy, so I have two copies, uh, one on each side, perfectly reflected from one another. Now I'm going to select each of them, select on one, hold down Shift, select on the other, and I'm going to go to the um, Shape Builder tool, like we used in the previous videos and the previous lessons, and I'm going to select on it and drag a line across between these two shapes, and they become one single shape. Let me right click and go to hide guides and I can see that I'm left with one perfectly symmetrical, nicely lined up uh, shield shape. 